Hey everybody. Anyways, um, I'm actually trying, to, I'm going to do a video today about something that has been one of these reoccurring scenarios with Ford, and that is the really the lack of uh, communication or um, ways to find information it just seems to be painful between Canada and US. And so uh, there seems to be more things in the U.S. than there is Canada. It, it, it's a thing. Uh, that's the reason why I started this channel in the first place to help people understand what's happening. So the biggest piece of what I wanted to do today was to show you how to find the version of Bluetooth, um, the Sync 4 update that, uh, you know, should help correct any issues you might have um, with your Bluetooth connectivity, etc., so the reason why I stem this is because everyone's having issues, but the U.S. Uh, I saw on one of the channels, uh, they're at 1.7 for their latest update. And I was like, well, what, what version are we at? Or what version am I at, actually, is probably the best way to put it. So there's a couple ways to do it. Um, best way, actually, is to do it through the truck because the app itself is painful to find it. Um, if you have it or not, and then you can also go online, uh, in your, um, vehicle dashboard. If you sign into the portal, um, the four dot CA, um, portal there, your account. Uh, so I've kind of got both of them open. So, um, we'll go on the vehicle first cause it's probably the best way to do it. Uh, you definitely want to go into settings, uh, and then you want to change over or flip to the side and actually look for system updates. And then under system updates is going to be your update details, uh, and it'll tell you. So surprisingly enough, uh, here we are. We, uh, my truck is at 1.4, telling me that I am behind whatever the latest is in the U.S., uh, which is 1.7 in the U.S. The other part it tells you is that you can check your versions of this um, if you have the four pass at a 3.26. Um, well. I actually have the Ford Pass at a 3.4. So I actually have a better, a newer version, and I can't find the details. Uh, that's how painful it is uh, when you are uh, dealing with that. So the other way that I was told you could find it is through your dashboard. So uh, if you do go to the Ford um, site, so your Ford does say my account, dashboard, sign in, boom, tells you you've, you've logged in. You click on the vehicle that you've added, uh, which then brings you to this site, which is your kind of your, they call it the dashboard. Uh, it's in beta. So if you see beta, don't worry about it. Uh, I don't know if that's a Canadian thing or not. Uh, but then you scroll down and tell you about recalls, tell you about your vehicle a little bit, scroll down further, um, and you can do other things. But where it actually does tell you where the update is, is a sync updates um, you can click on that and then it will bring you to a different site, um, which looks like this and it will come and tell you that you're up to date. Um, and right now the sync version is 4.02. So again, there is something that is definitely not really working. I think the sync for itself is 4.02. And the power for power up uh, updates that they're they're running through for other things is actually 1.4 in my vehicle, but we're at 1.7, I guess, uh, in you know the U.S. And so, anyways, um, I just wanted to kind of give a quick thing because again, the whole reason why I did this channel was to you know give insight to things that I found and that I can help other people find. Uh, if they need to be. So that's it for, for me this week. Uh, I am again uh, going to be exploring stuff on what I can find. It seems like um, you can do some certain, you know, firmware changes, um, but I got to I gotta still figure out how to do that. So anyways, uh, that's it for now. Like always, like all that kind of fun jazz, you know, notification bell so you get the latest and greatest always. Have a good one.